Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of CN super important questions and in this video we will be having 5 questions super important one which are repeated in the previous papers as well as in the model paper uh, they are there so make sure you watch this video till the end easily you can score more than 80% marks and uh, before starting please do like and subscribe it helps make more videos like this so let's move on to the first question solved using C, uh, cyclic redundancy check which is CRC okay we have to apply on algorithm and uh, do this uh, numerical okay this is very easy numerical you just you need to understand few steps okay Okay, the first step is 1011 is given here which is the divisor okay what is 1011 it is the divisor second is data word which they have given which is 1001 okay so let's understand what you need to do first write the data word here as such okay 1001 after that divisor you will be writing here just as we divide okay now what you have to do you can uh, see there are four uh, terms here 1001 right there are four uh, numbers here and in the divisor also we have four numbers what is 4 minus 1 3 okay you have to check the divisor four uh, digits are there 4 minus 1 3 three zeros you have to add on uh, after this okay three zeros you have to add after this so it will become 1001 uh, 1001 triple zero so you have to write that same thing one zero zero uh, one triple zero okay now you will be dividing it now division very simple you have to uh, multiply uh, a number with one so that you will get one okay so one into one is one okay like that one into one is one and you will be writing here one and what is uh, zero into one zero so you'll be writing here one into one is one 1 into 1 is 1. Okay, now you will be subtracting this one. Just like normal division. So 1 minus 1 it will cut. 0 minus 0 it will cut. 0 minus 1 and 1 minus 0 both is 1. Okay, if it is same means it is 0. If it is different means it is 1. Now we have got this answer. Now what you have to do? The first one you, have, you can see it is 0 here. Okay, you have to take 1 from here. 0 so as to make it 4 terms. Okay, now since 0 is here and this is 1 here 1 into 0 is 0 right so i'll be writing 0 here and i'll be writing all the terms as 0 0 0 0 0 then again subtract it you'll be getting this again take it down and you'll be subtracting you're getting this and uh, you'll reach the end you'll get one remainder okay that remainder what you will do that remainder you will be adding with the uh, data word okay data word which we had taken 1001 and after that you'll be putting that remainder 110 okay so this is what uh, you, uh, the code word will be okay the finally you have to get the code word that is the aim of cyclic redundancy check which is to get the code word okay so in exam also you have to do this one this is very important question uh don't miss this one okay very easy to do it just practice it three times okay three times with a different uh key uh divisor and different uh, data words okay moving on to the second super important question which is what is bit oriented framing okay bit oriented framing we have to uh, explain and what is its frame pattern second we have to explain its frame pattern explain the with an example byte stuffing and unstuffing okay three questions are here okay first let us understand what is bit oriented framing in bit oriented framing the data is uh, data section of a frame is a sequence of bits okay it is a sequence of bits what is a sequence of bit the data section of a frame Okay, in bit oriented framing, the data section is there, right? In that, there will be a sequence of bits. Okay, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, like that one section will be there. What does this thing do? Okay, what does this thing do? This will be used to interpret the upper layer as the text, graphic, audio, or video. Okay, means this is the general data which we have in the bits and uh, bytes, the numbers will be there, right? So, this will denote some kind of data. Okay, so however, we need to separate the frames from one another. So, like this, it will be continuous data. Okay, but we need to have this is one frame, this is second frame. We need to understand where the frame is ending where the frame is starting from okay so for that we need to have one flag most protocols use a special 8-bit flag which is 0 followed by 6 ones and another 0 this is called as a flag okay what does flag means flag means it will denote that uh, the frame is started from here and the frame has ended here okay so it will denote uh, the frame which is there in between starting and ending of the frame is denoted by a flag we'll put this flag in the starting part as well as in the ending part okay it's used as a delimiter to define the beginning and ending of a frame so let's see this example here this is a flag okay we have put to zero followed by uh, six months and another zero and in the ending also we have put the same thing and the main data is present here so by this we'll get to know that when the flag has a uh, means frame has started so that header will come first then the data will come then the trailer will come then uh, the, we'll get to know where it has ended okay that is the main use of flag this is called as bit oriented framing okay bit oriented framing is that in which we'll be having some data separated by a flag and the frame pattern frame pattern is also this one okay this is the frame pattern the last one which is explained with an example byte stuffing and unstuffing okay why do we need bit stuffing okay bit stuffing is used because 
suppose that the same flag pattern zero followed by six months and another zero the same pattern came somewhere in between here so it will wrongly identify that the uh, uh, the data has ended here only but the data is going to be ended here so this will be missed out okay and this will be considered as a different frame so that will give us incorrect data so we need to have one mechanism by which we will be able to uh, tell the system that this is a flag and this is a flag and whatever comes here that is not a flag for that what we will be doing is we'll be inserting uh extra zero okay so this is a flag and this is a flag and in between the data is present here and whenever uh, 5 1 comes okay the condition is if 6 1 comes that means it is a um, 0 and 6 1 and another 0 this is the flag right 6 1 should be there so whenever 5 1 comes together that means we will be adding one zero after that okay so that it does not consider it as a flag and another time when 5 1 comes it will be adding one another zero here and that will be passed so it will not uh, in the receivers end it will not consider this as a flag because only five zeros are there and after that one zero is there and it will get to know that after five ones if one zero comes that is to be unstuffed because this is an added zero okay then it will get to know so it will uh, unstuff these zeros and uh, get the original data without uh, wrongly identifying it as a flag in between okay so this is called as bit stuffing and unstuffing okay Moving on to the third super important question, which is stop and wait protocol. Okay, this is the most important protocol of this module. So, what is the stop and wait protocol? And we have to explain using FSM diagram, finite state machine diagram. Okay, so let's understand each one by one. What is stop and wait? What is stop? Stop means stop. Okay, if you are going somewhere and someone says stop, you will be standing there. That means stop. Okay, means uh, not doing what you are doing. That is stop. Wait means until how much time you should stop. Okay that protocol is there here it uses both flow and error control i'll explain what is flow and error control in uh, while we see the diagram so here what happens in this protocol sender sends one frame okay sender is here it will send one frame okay one frame means one data it will send at a time and waits for the acknowledgement before sending the next one so sender is here receiver is here sender has sent one frame and the receiver will send acknowledgement means it has received the frame so it will wait uh, for the acknowledgement before sending the next frame you got the point it will send one frame it will wait for acknowledgement then only it will send the next frame every time sender sends a packet it starts the timer so once the sender has sent the packet it will start a timer like for example 10 seconds within 10 seconds if it does not get an acknowledgement it will assume that the packet which was sent was uh, lost so it will resend the frame again okay if no acknowledgement is received within the timeout it resends the packet at the receiver side acknowledgement is not sent see in the receiver side when acknowledgement is sent when it has received a frame right so if it does not receive a frame or the frame which is received is corrupted or incorrect at that time acknowledgement will not be sent so that it uh, it notifies the sender that uh, since acknowledgement has not come it will resend the packet and uh, then the receiver will send the acknowledgement if it receives it okay so you got the point right so here acknowledgement is the main key sender is sending a message and if acknowledgement is coming then only sender will send the next frame otherwise it will repeat the same frame okay so this will ensure that the correct frames are being sent and received at the receiver end so this is the fsm diagram which you have to make in the exam this is the sender's part and this is the receiver's part let's understand this one by one okay you have to make two states here ready and blocking state in ready state first we'll start from here okay in ready state the packet came from the network layer make a frame save a copy and send the frame start the timer okay means send the frame and start the timer then go into the blocking state blocking means waiting state now few scenarios can happen in the waiting state the timeout can happen if timeout happens resend the save frame restart the timer and stay in the same state if corrupted acknowledgement is arrived means if an acknowledgement has come but it is not correct acknowledgement again resend the data and uh, wait for it okay or discard the acknowledgement means if corrupted acknowledgement comes don't consider it wait uh, till the right acknowledgement comes okay and if error free acknowledgement comes then go back to the ready state error free means the correct acknowledgement has come the uh, packet has been received at the receiver's end so we will send the next packet we'll again go to the ready state and send the next packet okay that is about the sender's node and the receiver's node what happens corrupted frame uh, if it has arrived discard the frame and stay in the ready state only don't do anything if corrupted frame has come discard it and uh, stay in the ready state only if error free frame has arrived means the correct packet has arrived extract and deliver the packet on the network layer and send acknowledgement means take the packet and deliver to the next layer and send the acknowledgement back to the sender that your packet has been received successfully okay and in case duplicate packets uh, come that also needs to be discarded
so uh, this is a flow diagram this is just for your understanding let's take an example and understand how this works okay so uh, for example this is the sending part and this is the receiving part okay this is what sender this is the receiver now from the sender a packet is sent here and a timer has started the packet went and it uh, reached the destination so uh, the acknowledgement is sent from the receiver acknowledgement is also come here it will send the next packet next packet was lost in between so timer was waiting 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 timer time what happened it resend the packet when the uh, packet was reset it got it and sent the acknowledgement so it will send the next packet and when the next packet was sent again the acknowledgement was also sent but the acknowledgement was lost in this case so what happened it will uh, wait for the time it has not received the acknowledgement it will resend the frame when it's resend the frame it has received the frame here but it is a duplicate frame because already the frame was received here this is a duplicate frame so it will uh, discard the uh, packet and it will send the acknowledgement that the uh, packet has been received okay so this is the flow diagram it uh, depicts the uh, stop and wait protocol okay so this fsm diagram is very important in exam they will be asking you to write uh, make this diagram and explain okay so uh, that's all for the stop and wait protocol moving on we have the fourth question what is s frame format and of hdlc and explain it uh, individual field of it okay so what is s frame okay we need to understand what is s frame before that we need to understand what is hdlc okay and after that we'll explain whatever is in it what is hdlc hdlc means it stands for high level data link control okay high level data link control it implements stop and wait protocol just now what we discussed that it implements okay and it is used in ppp okay point to point access protocol now what is s frame in it s frame is a frame under hdlc so hdlc is a uh, high level data link control inside that many frames will be there okay so one of the frame is s frame the other two are i frame and u frame okay but uh, s frame is the one which is asked in this question so we'll be discussing that s frame is a frame under hdlc that is used for transporting the control information okay what is the application of it transporting uh, control information repeat with me transporting control information that is the use of s frame okay s frame is the uh, full form is supervisory frame the format is given below so this is the format of s frame so s frame has four things s frame has four things uh, five things flag address control fcs and uh, the flag for ending here okay so four things mainly flag address control and fcs okay now let's understand each of these one by one what is a flag flag it contains a synchronization pattern which identifies both the beginning and end of a frame right so here the flag if you put it is the starting of the frame and this is the ending of the frame so that it denotes what is the address address it contains the address of the secondary station what is control control is used for the flow or error control okay what is flow and error control flow control means how many packets are being sent in uh, at a particular time at a time only one packet is sent until acknowledgement is received that control is called as flow control it will not send thousand packets at a time okay so that is called as flow control error control means if wrong packet is received the acknowledgement will not be sent so that the packet is resent so there is a control for error here if error is there the packet will be resent that is ensured okay that is called as error control so control field uh, defines some information about flow error control so this field has few more fields which we will be discussing in the upcoming uh, topic okay what is information field information field contains user data and since this is just used for transferring the control information information field is not present here what is fcs fcs is nothing but frame check sequence field frame check sequence means what is the uh, frames present here the check for it okay the acknowledgement comes from fcfs fcfs only okay now we'll be discussing what in depth what is control field for s type okay so control field defines the type of the frame what kind of frame it is is it s frame i frame or u frame that is defined by control field okay and it defines its functionality there will be a functionality associated with that okay so see here s frame is present here and you can see some data present here let's understand what is this data the first two bits here okay that first two bits is one zero it defines that there it is an s frame okay one zero defines it is an s frame for the other ones it will be different numbers okay last three bits correspond to the acknowledgement number nr means acknowledgement number either it can be positive acknowledgement or it can be negative acknowledgement this is in case the packet is received without error in this case the packet is not received at all okay so uh, the middle two code bits okay what does code two bits define the s frame there are four types so s frame is also of many types okay so uh, it can be either receive ready or it can be receive not ready or it can be reject or it can be selective reject these are the uh, internal uh, details of what kind of s frame it is means supervisor frame it can be either receive ready means the packet is ready to be sent or not it is has received the packet but the uh, it is not ready to receive more packets and uh, rej means the rejected means the packet is rejected selective rejected means uh, if it is a duplicate entry it is selectively rejected so this information denotes what state the sender 
user and the receiver is present in okay that is why s frame is used here okay moving on to the fifth question super important question which is what is ppp what are the services provided by ppp what is ppp most common point to point pro access protocol is called ppp okay point to point protocol see this is one point this is another point if there is a connection between them that is point to point protocol okay internet users connect to their home computers to a server of an internet service provided using ppp okay ppp is used to connect the home computers to the internet server okay in your home there is a laptop right that laptop is connected to a, a, a service okay yeah, the internet service provider how it is connected by using a protocol called ppp point to point protocol okay what are the services provided by it okay any uh three or four services you can remember ppp defines the format of the frame to be exchanged between the devices what it does is it first defines the format in which the frame is to be exchanged it defines uh how two devices can negotiate establishment of a link and exchange of data okay two devices is there device one and device two how they can exchange the data between them that is defined by ppp it is defined to accept the payload from the server network server network layers payload from the several network layer means there will be many layers on top of uh, the ppp the data is coming from here that is called as payload that payload data it is accepting okay that is another uh, service and another service is authentication is provided in the protocol means it will not have some fake data or hackers can hack into it it is authenticated okay only authorized users can access the point to point protocol so it will be having a very secure connection in which the data will be transferred uh, with uh, protection okay so uh, that's all for this uh, video uh, and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel it helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one